Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Nottingham. As you can see, things are um, a little bit better than they were last time. But if you look at the actual score lines of the games that we've played since you were last with us, you'll see that nothing has changed. We're still drawing games. One all draw against Fulham after they scored. We had kickoff and they scored after 1 minute 44 seconds. I think that tells you everything you need to know about how we're defending at the moment. Our defending has been absolutely atrocious. And that is not something that is reflected in the scoreline of the Everton game. But still, we, we are we, we're absolutely terrible. Which all bodes really well for the next game that we have to play, which is against Manchester City. And it's away from home. And they're first in the league. And um, it's going to be a bloodbath. So let's get into that. And uh, I'll try not to get too annoyed or upset. Uh, Bremer going to come back in again for McKenna at centre-back. Uh, Willems has played pretty well in the last couple of games that he's played. So he's going to get a game ahead of Ribeiro. Other than that, not much changes. Um, going to push Centurion up so he's a left-wing forward rather than a left midfielder. That's pretty much the only thing I'm going to change here. So let's get underway, shall we? I'm very tempted uh, to move to the one defensive midfielder to a f attacking midfielder formation that we're all familiar with from the previous season at uh, Newcastle. But uh, against a team like Manchester City, I don't think that is the time that you want to be making changes like that. Let's just hope we can keep them down to single digits. Gundogan. Gray plays it into Ballestero. Gundogan again. Good double teaming from Kabayi and unnamed teammate. Oh dear. 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 Somehow we've got away with that without giving the penalty away. I don't know how. I really don't. Arcas tries to play it forward to Guerrero. Now here's Lolly. Ooh. Nuts. Arcas. Lolly can't quite get to it. It's intercepted by Manchester City. And away they come again. Gray. Ballestero. Back in. Ballestero to Gray again. Worrell does a great job of covering and immediately does an even better job of giving the ball straight back. Brilliant. Centurion heads away though. Gundogan, bad first control from him. You'd expect better of him. You'd expect better of any Manchester City player, frankly. Here's Gray. Zafuik has him and does a really, really good job of winning that ball back. Lolly back to the goalkeeper Samba. No own goal today, thank you very much. Oh my word. They oh goodness me, they are pressing hard. They are pressing really, really hard. Finding it very, very difficult at the moment to find a seconds piece. Lolly over the top, Guerrero trying to run onto it, can't quite make it. Arcas, header to Centurion, who's offside. God damn it, all you had to do was stay onside, Centurion. That's all you had to do, and you couldn't manage it. Very, very disappointed in you, son. Very, very disappointed. So, Laporte starts with the free kick, plays it to Ruben Diaz. Gundogan into Ballestero, De Bruyne. Very dangerous player, De Bruyne, of course. Gabriel Jesus. Guerrero's just not with it. He's not with it at all. I don't think he can lead the line in the way that I want my striker to be able to lead the line. Unfortunately, Graben is uh, getting worse 
by the day as well. So it's going to be difficult for him to do what I want him to do. But here comes Centurion. Laporte doing a good job of holding him off. Plays it back to the goalkeeper, Walton. Da -da 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 -da. Good night, John Boy. Willems. Arcas. Oriol Busquets. Into Arcas again. Easy ball into Guerrero. Tries to turn it around the post. Here's Lolly. Oh my goodness me, Joe Lolly. With the opening goal for Nottingham Forest. A half hour into the game. How is this happening? And how long will it last? I think that's the more important question here. Lovely finish by Joe Lolly. Guerrero not scoring goals today. Not yet anyway, but he is providing. Doing a good job of holding the ball up. See, if you're going to hold the ball up with your central striker, that's how you want to score a goal by doing it. None of this turn and shot bollocks, although if I can score that way, I will. I'm not proud. I'm not too proud. Bremer. Bremer's a centre-back, don't forget. Oh, that's a terrible challenge by Rodri. Goodness gracious me. That should be a booking referee. And he's getting away with it. That's a filthy challenge through the back of Arcas. Goodness gracious me. Sifwik whips it in. Arcas. Oh, Centurion tried to make the run. Couldn't make it stick, but here's Willems. Oh, me, me, the. I'm making random noises, such as my level of excitement right now. Willems needs to get on his feet. No point in complaining that he didn't get the decision that he wanted. Is Jesus, and that's a really, really good interception by the defender. And what a first half for Nottingham Forest. They were absolutely overawed in the early going of this game. But they came to life in the 30th minute when Joe Lolly jumped on a through ball from Guerrero to put his team ahead. Only one shot in that half, but goodness me, didn't it count? So Sergio Aguero now coming on for Jesus. The big guns being deployed by Manchester City. It's assuming that you can call any of their players smaller guns because Jesus is a hell of a player to have on the bench. Don't need to take any terrible risks right now. Oh, that's a great ball through to Zafuik. Cross into the box. Being manhandled here, Zafuik. And he wins himself a throw in. Two men on him. Clearly, he's been identified as a danger man. Ferran Torres brings the ball out of defence for Manchester City. Plays it back to Laporte. They're going to be looking for the long ball over the top. It, no, no. In fact, they play it on the ground, which is uh, something that is to be allauded about their style of play. Lolly, Centurion, into Guerrero. Can't hold on to it, though. Surrounded by defenders.
I think Lolly was offside there. If it had got through to him, it wouldn't have counted the chance. Guerrero. Oh! <laughs> Maybe the through ball to Lolly would have been the better option. But you can't blame him for trying. In fact, I think it would have been the better option. Lolly was on his way through by with the corner. An outswinger, which Lolly looks to get his head on. Can't quite manage it. So if we plays it in. And Aguero will pick it up here. And Gray is away. And the counter-attack is on. And Bremer, more through luck than judgment, manages to intercept the ball. And Forrest have it back here. Rodri doing a good job of winning the ball. He's a filthy little bastard, but he is effective at what he does. Gray, good interception by Kabai. Brilliant tackle by Zafuik, and they're away again here. Oh, it's too heavy for Lolly. He's never going to get there. Oh no, now Raheem Sterling coming on for Gray. City are taking this very, very seriously, and should why shouldn't they? Losing to a team with such spotty form as Nottingham Forest is not an option. As Laporte plays the ball forward into Torres. Here's a long one forward, which Worrell is underneath and should deal with. Oh, that's that's a bit of flair there from Gabay. Week. Knocked over the top. Joe Lolly trying to run onto it. And he wins himself a throw in. 73 minutes on the clock. Everybody's looking okay at the moment. Question if Zafweek needs to come off, can anyone fill the role? Mm, not really. I think we might have to turn the attacking fullbacks off at this point just to be safe. So if we to Lolly. Lolly back through to the right back, and this will be a corner. Well played. Goodbye. Lolly. Through ball so nearly on. Guerrero. Oh, nasty challenge. Play was allowed to continue. comes loose this could be danger oh this could be danger Aguero's through Samba oh brilliant from Willems and very nearly disaster from Willems all in the space of a single breath and Willems again Centurion looking to put Laporte under pressure plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper Ferran Torres into Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling. Sterling. Oh, no. No. That's good from Worrell. Gets his foot in there needed to as well good commitment from all of the forest players here and it's a famous victory for nottingham forest of all of the games for us to break our duck i did not think it would be against the mighty manchester city you can hear what the fans think of it as they file out of the stadium to a chorus of boos. But that doesn't change the fact 
that Nottingham Forest have escaped with a famous 1-0 victory against league leaders Manchester City. And it was all thanks to this goal by Joe Lolly. And look at that. We actually bossed the game, if you can say such a thing. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable from the boys. Really happy with that performance. I know one of you especially would have been screaming out for Willems to hit it when he had the chance on the edge of the area. But it would have been a wild, wild chance and uh, not a good enough one to uh, to go for. We had to recycle the ball. There's the man of the match, Joe Lolly there, bottom right-hand side of the screen. 7.5. They work their legs off, these boys. Not a single substitute made by us. Two made by Manchester City. But what a result. Absolutely fantastic result. We lived on our luck a little bit in the last half of that game. But sometimes you do just need that little rub of the green. And there we go. Match day 19. Confirmed result. Manchester City nil. Nottingham Forest 1. Chelsea beating Fulham, United beating West Ham, Tottenham beating Watford. Let's have a look at the other half of today's results. You can see Arsenal, Aston Villa and Liverpool all walking away with victories, as do Southampton. Leeds and Sheffield United sharing the points up in Leeds. So how does the table look? Well, we've gone up to ninth place. Again, we are above Newcastle United. And we are that much closer to the magic 40-point uh, target, which is what we were aiming for to begin with. Uh, dare I say, we are how many points off of sixth? Not that many. Seven points off of sixth. A run of results. You see, this is this is my problem. This is my problem. I get one good result, and suddenly I start talking about Europe again. No, let's just concentrate on surviving. The transfer window is coming up. Hopefully, by the time I next see you, we'll have some news regarding a new striker because we are on the lookout. I've put some feelers out, but at the moment, nobody's massively interested. We just need to hopefully find someone that wants to come. And also, what I'm really looking for is someone with very, very good attacking prowess. I want somebody to have a attacking awareness in the mid to high 80s, if possible. And if I can get someone that will develop further, all the better. Now, I will deal with that uh, manager offer in a minute, uh, but no need to do it on screen because we all know what my decision is going to be. I'm not going anywhere. This is a one club save. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.